Chicago Bears trying to get the most out of Justin Fields as a passer. He's already become the most dangerous running threat in all of football. Now, over the weekend, he went to Ohio State to pick up his degree, continued his studies, even though he left school early. So congratulations to him for that. In his absence, the Bears were gushing about where he is now. Here is offensive coordinator Luke Getze on the strides that Fields is making as it relates to uh, his overall throwing abilities. As we evaluated Justin um, from last year, I think the, the growth from where, you know, everybody, in, in including yourselves, like how the way you viewed the guy and the way the team viewed the guy to where, where he was at this time last year to where he is now, I think it just is, is light years ahead of where it was. And we feel like he has a, a, a ton more to grow going forward. So we're excited to try to get that, the best out of him moving forward and uh, keep working to where we think he can go. I mean, look, the the running is undeniable. It's incredible. It's Mike Vick level. Right. It's amazing. Yep. When he tucks the ball down and takes off, it's like once per game, there's a 60-yard run That's right. by Justin Fields. Right. And now the challenge is to take that threat and use that to leverage him into a passing posture that allows him to become as good of a thrower as he is a runner. And if he ever puts the two ends together – He's a top five franchise quarterback in the NFL. So one one of the current franchise quarterbacks is gonna have to take a take a step aside and make room for Justin Fields. Yeah, there, there's no doubt. I mean, the, the talent's real. I mean, we, we know that the physical ability, like you said, you know, his ability to run, his his stature as a human being. I mean, he's he's built like a, a Greek god, like we talk about all the time. You know, that that's where he is awesome. And yes, we saw potential. And everything he did running the football last year. And we saw progress passing the football, definitely. Right? Is it perfect? No. It's the next step. It's got to happen this year. You know, yeah, it was, hey, it's it's second year in a system. We expect growth there. We also know the way he played with his hair on fire last year running. He takes too many hits. He's got to be careful with that. And then, like, as much as the highlights and everything was awesome, it still was 3-14. and 14. So, now we got to start, wait, throwing the ball, making decisions to win some of these games where you make a good run or whatever else that's on the highlight shows and everything like that. I think that's what we got to see from Justin Fields. And I think that's still, like, we saw progress, but I still think it's a debatable thing. And I think uh, we know it's a debatable thing. There's a reason people talked about, oh, maybe the Bears will trade away the first pick and draft Bryce Young. You know, there's a lot of people in football that think if Bryce Young was 6'2", they would have traded the first pick, uh, traded, I mean, kept the first pick and traded away Justin Fields. Excuse me, I misspoke there. So, you know, that tells you there is more that to be had there. And we're going to see this is going to be a big year because they put the support around him now to where you go, no, we, we should see considerable progress in that department. And that's where I'm interested to see what Justin Fields has this year. That would have been a hell of a gamble by the Bears, and that would have put a ton of extra pressure on Bryce Young. That right. was my argument at the yeah, time. that's a tough When one. the talk first started, right. look, you have a winning lottery ticket in Justin Fields. It's up to you to get the most out of that ticket because he's shown he can play. you got to develop him as a passer, and you got to put help around him. But if you trade that in and you make Bryce Young the successor to Justin Fields, he's immediately got to be as good as Justin Fields or it's a failure. It's right. all a failure. right. And it, that, that would have been a hell of a risk. I, I think they should be considering themselves fortunate that they didn't do that and that they're going to see what they have in Justin Fields. This is a team that's still looking for a true franchise quarterback for the first time since Sid Luckman, and maybe they have it in Justin that's Fields. That's right. I'm glad they're letting it I'm play with you. out to I'm see what you. they have right. and don't have in Justin Fields. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.